What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're actually doing a little something different. We're playing a little vintage today. And uh, we're going to be playing this Sultai mid-range deck with Leovolds Thank in you. it. And uh, Dr. Jedpuff, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm actually short one Lee of old, so I'm borrowing one from Manatraders.com, which you guys can also do. If you go to Manatraders and use the link and the promo code in my description, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And uh, it's a pretty sweet service. You can borrow physical paper cards or digital Magic Online cards, either one, which suits your needs. So that's pretty sweet. So be sure to check that out if you're in the market for that kind of service. And uh, it's, it's this easy. You go to the site, you enter the cards you want to rent. Uh, they open a trade with you. you. You take the card. And uh, then you're done. And now we can update this. And now we are good to go. So we have... Four mental misstep, an ancestral brainstorm, two fluster storm, a ponder, a preordain, another preordain, four shammies, three goifs, two leovolds, two thief of sanity, which is a very nice addition, uh, two jace, four force of will, a gush, a treasure cruise, a dig, uh, two snappies, a time walk, a demonic tutor, null rod. So, only 17 lands, but this is like 18, 19, 20. This is like 21 lands, basically. You know. No Ashy, no. No Ashiok in, uh... I wonder how frequently this... This fire... So the two, I have two decks. One, they're both Sultai. What does the other Sultai deck look like that I have? I wonder. Oh, pretty similar. It's got a Titania in it, which is nice. Three Thief of Sanity. And then we have this uh, Dominaria Teferi list, which actually, like, won an event with three Mana Drains. Two search for Ascanta. Stony Silence in the main deck, which is pretty uh, defensible. I saw you standing alone. Not a dream in my hope. Not a love of my own. I'm just going to hang out in this queue. Dinosaur, what's going on? I'm all right. How about yourself? Blue moon. I saw you guys standing alone. What does that mean? I don't know. Spring break. Nicely done. Nicely done. Like you account like like you did something. Hey, congratulations on your spring break. You did really good. No one wants to join me in my vintage queue. How do the vintage leagues look? Oof, pretty low, pretty low. That is unfortunate. I guess we're just hanging out. And uh, we're dropping a million frames right now. And I'm, again, I'm not sure why, because nothing else is going on on the internet. So that's fun. On the bright side, we're still connected to Magic Online. Connected, they say. Guys, maybe we're not doing a vintage event after all. <laughs> play EDA? I actually don't like Commander that much. I'm not a huge Commander fan. I'll play it, and when I play it, I have a good time, which is interesting. But I don't like just firing it up for no reason because uh, I feel like my decisions don't matter. I'm pretty sure it's my internet, not your internet. Um... Yeah, it's not good. I'm getting real tired of it. It happens every day. I have a log over here. 
of the times it has gone out. Uh, this is the number of these are the this is the the times it has gone out in the past week Monday Monday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Tuesday Thursday Thursday Friday Friday these are just I actually stopped keeping track of it for a little bit because I reset the the modem and um, I'm pretty sure there's something else going on because. I don't think we're going to actually be able to play this vintage vintage queue, guys. I don't know what's going on, but no one wants to play vintage with us. There's only 124 people in this league, so maybe we just jump in the league. Maybe someone out of the 125 players wants to play right now. I guess we'll find out, right? Thank you. Water sports, Drew, if you're referring to the list that uh, Andrea played recently, I've definitely seen it, and I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, Dinosaur, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Oh yes, we did it. We did it, guys. I make no uh, I make no claims as to how these vintage matches will go. I am not a vintage professional, I just like the format. I will keep this hand. I'm playing against Montolio, which actually, uh, ironically enough, if I'm correct, has 11 undefeated trophies, so... <laughs> Sounds good. I think this dude just jams vintage all day, apparently. This polluted delta almost looks like a photo negative. Like, that's interesting. Are we dead? Let's find out. Grim Monolith, sure. Other Grim Monolith. This is fascinating. Huh. Well, that's something. So I guess you have 19 cards to kill us. For anybody watching at home, this is not an accurate representation of Vintage. Vintage is not full of turn one kills, thankfully. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh. 
I guess they're just done. Well then. Fascinating. Mental misstep. Seems good. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, there's nothing in our deck that actually deals with this, so I'm just going to go to the next game. We could block, take 9, and then we would actually have a preordain that would find us basically nothing. Okay. Uh, I don't care about you. Does Tinker stop? Does Graph Digger's Cage stop Tinker? I think so. Take out the Null Rod, we'll bring in Graph Digger's Cage. Don't fear about Fatal Push. Infernal Reckoning is Exile a Colorless Creature, and that's probably better, right? Take out the Fluster Storms. Bring an energy, energy flux. If they have Tinker, they probably have uh, Voltaiki as well. Rod, Rod is fine, but like, I mean, I'd rather have like Rod isn't going to do anything against Blightsteel Colossus. Yeah, actually, yeah, Rod is probably fine, actually. Well, considering there's a Lotus here, this is definitely a lot of legacy time. All right, let's try this again. I will keep this hand. I mean, they do have Mental Misstep. They could actually just draw a million cards until they hit Mental Misstep. Even Nature's Claim isn't that great against Yawgmoth's Will because they can just, or Yawgmoth's Bargain, rather. They could just literally draw... I'll draw seven cards in response. I mean, that should be way more than enough for them to either deal with the Nature's Claim. Or it shouldn't matter because they drew seven cards, you know, or any number of cards, really. <laughs> no, no apology needed. Hmm, really? Boring. You got it. That should bode well for our Infernal Reckoning, I guess. If they go land... Blight steel. They went nothing. Let's go to Trop.
Force Mind's Desire. Seems good. I mean, Thief of Sanity is such a threat that they have to force it, which is pretty solid. Grim Monolith, eh? I'm actually tempted to strip mine this, but then we don't get to do anything for our turn. I'd rather just play a Jace here. Wow, that's unfortunate. We'll put two lands back. I wish we had a blue card here, but alas. I mean, we can just hard cast Force of Will next turn, depending on what they do. Yep, here comes Dark, Dark Ritual into Young Moss Bargain. Yep, never don't have that. Yeah, I'm tempted. I was tempted to uh, strip mine the swamp, but. I mean, now it's just pretty much game over. Like, they can just literally draw cards until they have Mental Misstep and, like, I guess we have two of these, which is good, but we have 13 cards in hand, so. Well, they can only draw 19, 18 cards, so, you know, fingers crossed. I really enjoy the MTG gameplay lately. I've always enjoyed the older formats more than standard. Nice. Glad to hear it, buddy. I mean, this is also because there is, uh, the standard formats are pretty rough right now. The, the, the more... The more recent formats like uh, Ravnica Allegiance or, you know, standard in general. One life for one card is a bargain. What's our storm count? Three? Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, as far as lands go, that's a good one to have. Man, here we were feeling so good. To be fair, we haven't drawn any power. We haven't drawn any of the accelerants. We haven't drawn a time walk. We haven't drawn ancestral. Like, we've drawn nothing that really puts us on par with a Yog Moss bargain. Meet again for the first time in the day. Say this is a sweet standard deck your opponent is playing. That's true. That is true. This might be the best standard deck I've ever seen. I feel like when you have 10 undefeated trophies in, in League, you might be able to figure out how to piece together a win faster than this, but...
boy. I mean, the storm count's already there. They have to have tendrils. Nope, don't have anything. Oh, a memory jar. Hmm, fascinating. Well, we have a force of will now. All right, let's try again. Uh, let's let's play against the person that doesn't always have their memory jar, or their uh, Yog Moss bargain. What up, Llama Goyf? Memory Jar. That's actually pretty funny. I wonder how long a match on average takes when you're not playing against the person with 10 trophies. Taking these out again. There's a part on the very front that's irritating me. That's better. <sighs> Kitty cats being loud. Two minutes. Two minutes per per match is pretty rough. This is why videos are great, um, because you can actually just cut these parts out of the videos. You can just be like, well, cut that waiting out. Yeah, vintage more 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 often is more interactive than that. That was just a matter of like, hey, I just have Yogmoss Bargain both games, and you happen to not have. Uh, I didn't have Force of Will for it, or I had Force of Will and didn't have a second blue card. So I mean, I'm pretty sure that game goes differently if you have another blue card in your hand. Here's actually another deck that looks pretty sweet. I'll load it up while we're waiting. Oven RNA. 
product of uh, taxes. I don't have glow riders. I don't have city of traders, and I don't have a recruiter of the guard. And I'm missing containment priests. Three containment priests and serenities, which is fine. All of that's fine. But otherwise, I mean, most of these cards are pretty great in legacy and vintage. Plus, we have Palace Jailer and Reality Smashers and Thought Seers. City is still expensive on MTGO. City is about 12 each. That's not terrible. Same price as, it's almost the same price as Cavern of Souls. Chalice of the Void is 31 on MTGO, so, you know. Oh, we did it. Join the match. Oh, the same. This, I didn't know you can get paired against the same player twice. Well, that's interesting. I'll keep this in the hope that we actually have another... As my brainstorm seems to be. <sighs> sure. Leo and Goif. Actually, Leo at the very worst. Yeah, we'll put Leo and Goif. Eh, is that right? We're going to play this. We're probably going to abrupt decay the Mox Pearl. Keep up Mental Misstep and Force of Will. Do I even care about abrupt decaying that? Not really. Maybe we just play Tarmogoyf here. Yeah, I think that seems fine. That seems like, I mean, like, they know we have mental missteps, so I mean, like, they're, it's very possible they're just trying to bait it out of us, but, like, this feels like a good bait target. Show and tell? This also feels like bait, but I mean, like, if the problem is if they have Blightsteel Colossus, there's nothing we can do about it. So like we're almost priced into countering this because we can't deal with the blight steel. We know we're drawing a Leovold. I mean, if they force back, it means their hand is force blue card. Uh, blight steel. Like they could just not have it in hand. They could also have Yogmas bargain as well and just put Yogmas bargain in play. So I I think it's actually significantly worse than I originally thought. I'm going to just kill this. Like, we have nothing else to do, right? So... Mm-hmm. 
Yep, here we go. Double Dark Ritual into the Yawgmoth's Bargain we know they had. Yep, they never don't have it. <laughs> oh, man, it's actually incredible. They've had it every single game. They haven't had a tutor for it. They haven't had to, like... It is restricted in Vintage, right? Is it just it's it's just is it not restricted? Is it just you have four of? Interesting. Yeah, it's not restricted. You can actually have four Yawgmoth Barons if you want. That's fascinating. That is not something I knew. I guess we just win the game anyway. They, uh, I guess they could not hit it in the, uh, the, the top ten cards. All right. So that's nice. Um, Leyline's good. I, I mean, just because they have, um, Yawgmoth's Will, but that, however, is restricted. So... Yeah, every point of damage we deal is one less card they can draw. <laughs> I almost like Matrix Claim better than Abrupt Decay because it does hit Bargain. I want to take out the two card drawing spells. I don't know if Jace is fast enough here. I could take out one Jace. Take out one Abrupt Decay. We're bringing in Nature's Claim. Bring in an Infernal Reckoning. I mean, Grafdigger's Cage actually turns off both. Um, I don't know. Grafdigger's Cage is interesting. It turns off. Uh, it turns off Tinker, and it also turns off Yawgmoth's Will, I believe. Yawgmoth's... Yeah, Yawgmoth's Will, I believe. Um, maybe a one-of is fine. Just makes them have to work around it. I do probably want the other Null Rod, despite having these, but... Yeah, I almost like this over the second abrupt decay, just because it does take out bargain. Like it just makes them have to have it that turn. But it's also one minute cheaper in case you want to take out like a uh, grim monolith or something, which they're probably only going to play the turn they need it. But they did play it previously on a turn they did not need it. So seventeen lands at work. But we're also not hitting any, like, I don't think we've drawn a single Mox or a single Lotus. Yeah, we're definitely shipping this hand. Can't do anything here. One moment, please. Kids yelling. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, the single lotus. Oh, the single lotus. If you want it, then you should have put a soul ring on it. If you want it, then you should have put a soul ring on it. This is actually worse. Go to five. Sure. You know what? Sure. Thankfully, we're on the draw. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, Matthew Ori. <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori with the snow cone photo. The, the snow cone photo. This is gas, dude. Well done, buddy. Well done. This is a hell of a turn one. And we literally draw no force of wills, no mental missteps, nothing we can actually play. Unfortunate. I mean, it is possible to get nothing. In the top 14 card. I mean, I don't know how many Yawgmoth bargains he's running. I have no idea. I was looking it up. I couldn't find it. Did we just go? That was it. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm unimpressed. That's interesting. I don't know why you wouldn't do this last turn, though, when you have... Like, last turn you have, like, six Storm already, right? So why wouldn't you do this last turn and just draw a bunch of cards last turn? Like, you needed so much less storm, and you're going to pay the life anyway, right? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. But if you brick, like... If you brick, you're going to lose anyway, aren't you? Like, if you pay 14 life, and you don't get the cards you need because you brick, like, you're probably going to lose anyway because you don't have the cards, right? Like, am I... That doesn't seem safer. It just seems like you're just losing on the next turn instead. Because we're talking about going for the win. We're not talking about just drawing a bunch of cards that you're going to discard. Unless the unless they had like tendrils in their hand that they dis that they put aside, they could have actually just had the the win in in the the side hand, which which are, which is probably what happened. I don't think we're winning. It doesn't. It's not. It's not feeling. It's not feeling like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Although we did mold a 5 here, and it was not ideal. And I think I agree with the nature's claim being too slow. It just doesn't do anything. How do I feel a match 3? We'll be on the play, which is nice. Yeah, but they didn't really need to, but the problem is they're not drawing any cards. They don't get to draw stuff anymore, so it's not like they can... They're not, it's not like if they give me more turns, they're going to... Uh, amass more cards in order to like do stuff they either do it or they don't because they have all the resources that they're going to have for the rest of the game 
Like, I mean, every card, they're going to have to draw off Yawgmoth's Bargain, whether you draw it now or whether you draw it five turns from now. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, Yawgmoth's Will is all I need to see. All right. Yeah, let's get rid of Nature's Claims. This is it, guys. This is going to be the hand. This is the hand. I'm going to keep it. This is it. <sighs> Unfortunate null rod with two moxes, but I'm okay with it. Oh, Leovold's insane. But we have to be able to draw and cast a Leovold. Do we turn one Null Rod? That's the question. We can go turn one Null Rod Deathrite Shaman. I think we do it. The problem is we have four mana. Uh, we only have one blue, so we can't Jace. We also have no way to really play. If we draw like a Leovold or a Thief of Sanity, we don't really have a way to play it. I guess we do have Death Rite Shaman. We don't have too much else to do with the mana, but the I, the problem is if we get anything else to do with the mana. It's pretty bad. You got it. Da 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 deal. Three months to cast. Yeah, that's fine. Well, unfortunately, I'm actually gonna crack this now. Maybe increase our draws just a little bit. Uh, underground. <laughs> well, awkward, but. I mean, the problem with Null Rod is it shuts off most of our deck, too. We have nothing to do. But, I mean, I think... It still feels correct to do it. I mean, it shuts down their mocks, so... I mean, they can't use Mana, mana Vaults, they can't use Grim Monoliths. It is awkward that the one game we draw Null Rod is the, the literal one game that we draw both Moxes. Yeah, sure. Let's get a trough here. So now we do have a Leovold mana. We have lots of mana. So we can actually uh, mental misstep here if we want to. Uh, they couldn't tutor for the land because the Vampiric Tutor puts it on top. So whatever they drew now, they tutored for. Tarmogoyf's only a 2-3. Why don't we use this? I don't know. It's a good question. It's not like you asked it, but...
There's a lot of lands in the graveyards. Did they do a turn upkeep? Uh, yeah, they might have actually. I didn't see it. I didn't actually look. Or do we just give them a turn and play Tarmogoyf here? Probably. Alright, well this is the turn then. They did nothing. Seems good. So we could eat this for two, but I think it's actually just better to attack here because uh, if we eat it for two, it's actually going to cost one more from the Tarmogoyf. So. That seems good, because now Flusterstorm and Mental Mist Step are both online for us. So we're actually just going to attack for two here. Because we can pay Flusterstorm, play Flusterstorm and still pay it. Well, that seems pretty good. Yeah, they actually can't counter this. I mean, after this, we're going to keep up Force of Will in case they have, like, show and tell. Yep, I think they have show and tell into Colossus here. Yep, that's exactly what we were afraid of. They can't really attack. If they attack, we block, and then we eat something. Tarmogoyf is actually huge. It doesn't do much. Yeah, this is fine. Like, we can block with Deathrite Shaman and keep up Force of Will. Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. And they block here, they take three, four, five. So we can actually put them to five now. And then we attack with both, they block here, they take three and go to two, and then we can just eat the other vampiric if they don't have anything here. Okay. That's a blank. Uh, what don't we have? We have lots of instants. Oh, he's, he's smaller now. That's really sad. Actually, well, we need a black, don't we? Hmm. Hmm. Let's get another underground. So we can attack. We can actually abrupt decay this. They can't really have anything, right? Like, they're just dead here, right? These are both three damage, right? Am I crazy? Everything they everything they have costs extra mana. Got him. Ooh. Ruin the ruin the undefeated streak. All right. Well, not too bad. Maybe it's just cold out? What'd I miss? Oh god. Is it gonna be- are we three for three playing this person? No, we're playing Fnoop. Fnoop, there it is. Uh, 
I'm going to keep this hand. Null Rod could be great. It could also be terrible. But we have Mental Misstep and Flusterstorm. Yikes. We're going to Wasteland that dude for sure. Can we draw a Mox? No, we can draw a Gush. The Targov got smaller, so I said maybe it's just cold out. Wow. Ain't nothing gonna hurt my spirit. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. Oh no. Oh yeah, the two mox hand. We got the null rod. All right. Well, might be a little too late, but still. Oof. Brutal. Brutal. They have one card in hand? I guess they go up to two, don't they? Unbelievable. The rich get richer. Death Ray Shaman's pretty good here because he can just block the elementals. What, who am I kidding? Death Ray Shaman's good all the time. Mental Misstep's a hell of a drug. No lightning bolt. I'm asking nicely. Oh, what is this flooded strand? Look at that gorgeous beauty. What in the earth? So a lot of ponders and preordains and things. Oh boy. Yikes. That's a good one. Judge Foil, maybe. I feel like we just null rod here. Thank you. I will dominate. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again, buddy. Uh, well, I guess we're not going to do anything here. I really have no interest in preordaining and tapping out.
This is a lot of things, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really thrilled about it. Let's preordain. Mental misstep flooded strand. Well, we're definitely taking the flooded strand. It doesn't really matter the other card, I guess. I mean, we have land fluster storm, but. Or we can go Snapcaster Mental Misstep as well. I mean, having Jace and Sylvan Library here is a pretty good amount of... There's so many things happening right now. I feel like there's a lot of things going on and I have no idea how this bodes for us. Probably pretty poorly with the Sylvan Library in play. He's like, joke name? What do you mean? I don't follow. This is so many preordains. Oh man. Well, on the bright side, we should be able to, we should at least be able to finish this league because that's uh We've been having a pretty easy go at the the turns and all that. The the people joining the queue is what I'm saying. I'm really out of this game because I feel like they're doing a lot of stuff and we're doing not a lot of stuff. So we're kind of just waiting until the end of each turn and being like, are we dead? I don't know. Countering a priority at this, at this point in the game just feels not even... It's not even like worth it because the damage is done. Like They're getting their guy. They already have... Storm count two, so we get to fluster storm for th three. So I think that's probably worth it. Same, 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 same. We are streaming at the shop right now. Say hi to F and M crowd and Logan. What's going on? How you doing, guys? That's pretty awesome, dude. All right, well. Okay. Wait. Wait. Do they have mana floating? Is that why that worked? They might, might have might not have seen the mana they had floating. Because I was like, okay, three copies of three copies of copies of Flusterstorm when you have two untapped lands. Should be good to go. They might have had land mana floating. Which is interesting because the lands were untapped. Oh, did they bounce lands? They returned two trops. Okay. It's all it's all clear now. It's all coming together. Let's get a bayou here. FNM says hi back. Nice. Nice. Uh, we can't get a bayou with this. That's silly. Don't be ridiculous. Let's get an underground. Um, we'll exile. We preordain. Sure. Let's 
Let's go green, blue. We will gush. You're not the only guy who can gush here. Don't force a Wilming, bro. You have six cards in hand? You gotta have at least one force, right? At least one. They did. They did have one. Meh. Meh. Uh, play this dude. Actually, we'll probably play... Let's play Snapcaster. Uh, we'll get back Preordain. Let's Preordain. Yeah, Leovold seems pretty good. Brainstorm seems kind of meh. I don't think either are going to matter now. I'm pretty sure we're way out of this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have three blockers. That's pretty good, right? I've got you on the background while lazily packed for Tokyo. Nice. I'm hanging out with all you guys tonight. Ancient Grudge. Okay. This is so many things. I'm just going to have six here. The most we can do is exile a land from a graveyard, which is not exciting. If we could actually activate Death Ray Shaman this turn, the second Death Ray Shaman could probably win the game for us. I mean, maybe it still can. I don't know. Magic's hard, dude. What do you want from me? Um, well, block you, block you, block you. So what is it? We're at four, and they have... We can block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to block, like, five of these guys or gain two. It's not looking great. So if we gain two, we, we can block three dudes with Leovold. This is the only thing we can play this turn. So we can play Leovold. Gain... Block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five. We gain two. We go to one. So if that works... Maybe. I think they should actually draw one, draw an extra card from the Sylvan Library. That's my opinion. That's my professional opinion. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's probably going to do it. That's what's known as the end, I believe. Today my son asked, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears, 11 year olds, and he still doesn't know his name is Brian. It still doesn't know my name is Brian. Wow. I was like, Bazar, I don't think you have a son. And then I'm like, oh, but you're chock full of dad jokes. Okay. Well... I'm gonna scum. Let's go to the next game. I feel like we were actually surprisingly close. A lot of the damage they did themselves. Okay, so fatal push, your choice. Uh, no rod doesn't seem great against them. Uh, Flusterstorm also doesn't seem that great. It's fine, but it's not like super exciting. Leyland don't care about. Energy flux. I don't care about front reckoning. Nature's claim. Yeah, this seems. This all seems fine. Yeah. 
Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. I gotta feed these pets after this, after this event. They're getting real ornery. You hear him? He's uh, he's mad right now. Um, I actually like this hand. I wish we had some, you know, power. Uh, Thief of Waves is definitely a, a, a pretty main main card in the format now. If you see a Robert in Apple Store, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> oh, I don't want to laugh at any of these, but I always do. This is my life. This is my life. I'm real tempted to demonic tutor for a Leovold here. I don't think we have to though. I think we can just wait and then demonic tutor for whatever we need. Like if they play Sylvan Library, we can go get an abrupt decay or something. It's Frank's life. It's now or never. That's correct. That is correct. It is my life. It is now or never. Probably never, though. Thank you. That's my bet. Nature's little treasure. What's going on? Thank you so much for the reset. One, tur one turlet, one seat, one year. Wow, that was actually very good. I'm impressed with that. I also like that you said turlet. Like, I gotta go to the turlet. That's a funny meme. They didn't do anything? Well, I'll be. Well, that's interesting. Play it, crag it from black, get a Leovold, play the Leovold, keep up force. Could be all right. The problem is we don't have any broken things we're doing with our deck. Could also get a Thief of Sanity. The understanding might be better if they don't have an answer. What's up, Chris? Alright, let's see what we got here. Mental misstep. Oh, they always have the mental misstep. They didn't have it this time. I think Thief of Sanity is better than Lee of Old here. Fascinating. All right. Oh, well, we get to keep a force. That's pretty cool. We didn't see a single lightning bolt last game, so we'll see if that's correct. Speak of the devil. Well, this is worth it, so... One turlet, one seat, one beer. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt for demonic tutor, force of will, snapcaster, lotus. Well, they got a, a sweet little two for four. We didn't see a single lightning bolt last game. A single lightning bolt. This time. All the lightning bolts, flooded strand, fantastic.
Yep. Kill it. Oh, we did it. Wow, look at that. We all had the things, huh? Did you hear what the guy in the lifesavers they made? They say he made a mint. Wow. These are just amazing. Just incredible. Just incredible. I just don't want any lands in my deck anymore. We don't really care about revolting this. We could save, but we have like one brainstorm in the deck, so I'm not super concerned. We have ponders, I guess, but... Chase, buy you. Hmm. Solid. Yeah, I want to play it because it lets us hard cast Force of Will if we draw that. Oh, that guy's pretty good. This deck does not seem great. I'd love to attribute it to myself and be like, well, maybe I'm just piling it terribly, but honestly, like we don't have like we're facing against a bunch of uh, a bunch of decks that have really really good engines, like Young Pyromancer or uh, Tinker and Yogmoth's Bargain, and we're just kind of like not doing anything really super powerful. Delta, Delta. Uh, additionally, I just watched a Legacy video with Andre Mangucci, and he was playing a Thief deck in Legacy. And it was kind of the same situation where, like, he was losing because, like, his, his main threats were, like, Thief of Sanity, and that was pretty much it. So if you were able to deal with his 2-2, two -two, the deck just didn't really have a ton of things you have to deal with otherwise. Yes, yeah, so I was watching a, a Legacy video from Andre, which is just fantastic. He's the best. But, um... Yep. All right. Three, four, five. They have six mana. Are they just going to play, like, Inferno Titan? Is that a thing you can do in this format? You just play Inferno Titans? Probably. He is, he is the best. Come on, Brainstorm. It's close. That is close. They're just going to ultimate this Dak Faden. Oh, yeah, the emblem on Dak Faden is actually not that great. <laughs> Doesn't really do much in a format like this. Whatever you target is going to die anyway, so... Everything I target goes away in the end. That's a, that's a little hurt from Nine Inch Nails. You guys probably know the Johnny Cash version. That's fine. Any of the playoffs this weekend? What are the play? I don't even know what those are. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I ain't gonna split hairs about no mock sapphire when you already got seven mana. That's a little. That's a little more obnoxious. But what can you do? I guess you can just sit there while I take two turns. One toilet, one seat, two turns. Can I mental misstep this because I just paid one mana for it? No? Okay. Format playoffs of this weekend for a bunch of formats? Like what, on Magic Online or on Arena? Like what? I don't. Well, I also don't know what that means. Like, what does that mean? You 35 format points? What the hell is that? That has to be Magic Online then. 
Do I have any format points whatsoever? I don't think so. I have no idea what that means. I have a qualifier point. They used to give me a bunch of stuff when I was silver. They're like, here you go, here's a bunch of stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, thank you. And I was like, what if I'm not silver anymore? They're like, well, you suck, so just wait. And I was like, okay, sounds good. So now they have a Dak Faden and a Sylvan Library, so they can just put the two worst cards on top, put them in the trash can, good to go. I went to the zoo and saw a baguette in a cage. The zookeeper said it was bred in captivity. Oh, Jesus. God. If you win, you qualify for something else at the end of the year, feeding to the mox. Just, there's so many... My biggest... My, 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 my personal issue with uh, tournament structures like this is that everything feeds something else. I'm like, well, if you win this, then you go to the second national qualifier. And then if you win that, you go to this, the Mythic Invitational Championship qualifier. And then if you win that, you go to the World's Qualifier Championship Invitational World. And then if you win that... Then you get a job at uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and if you win the job at Dungeons and Dragons, you get a job at Wizards of the Coast. And you're like, Wh what? Why? Why don't I understand that? Can you, can you make me a chart that explains all of these things? They have seven cards in hand. Hmm. Huh. I feel like our deck just doesn't have a way to really draw cards efficiently. Like these are both very efficient engines, and we don't have anything like that. You had a chance to look at the two Heartless decks yet? I have not. I have not. The chart is more confusing. You're like, this is even worse. Can I kill this idiot? Just go to the garbage can. They're going to force a will it. I didn't think they had a force of will, actually. I was totally surprised that in their six card hand, where that they've been sculpting meticulously for the past seven turns, that they had a force of will. I'm just gonna have six here because obviously mental mis my mental misstep is is no good here. If I mental misstepped my own fatal push, do you think it would it would take back the token it gave them? No, oh, no, dubby. But even if it did, they'd just get another one for the mental mis. No, that's not how that works. To understand magic tournament structure, you just need to follow this 32 simple rule. Like I don't even pay attention to most events that are on like Magic Online or Arena because I'm just like they're so convoluted. Where it's like. It's a Mythic Championship Invitational Qualifier that feeds into the Mythic Championship Qualifier. Uh, silver, the Silver Invitational Qualifier, which feeds into the Gold Championship Invitational Qualifier. And you're like, what the f- Why? What? Okay, well, I still have this. So, let's see if we can... No, no, just gonna do one of these jobos. Dang it, Fnoop. All right, we're getting out of here. We're done. When you resolve your dig through time and your treasure cruise and your ancestral and your time walk and your black lotus and your deck fadens on seven, and we have six lands in play, I think it's about time to pack it up. My friend says to me, What rhymes with orange? And I told him, No, it doesn't. And you were right. It doesn't. True story. Cause you can have it all. The Rolled Gold Mythic Pretzel Pre-Qualifier Tournament. Yeah. I can't tell if it's sponsored by Rolled Gold or if it's literally just, uh, you know, a name that they've used to... I don't, you know, I don't know. Honestly, Stream, do you feel... How do you feel about chips on a sandwich? Better or worse than fries on a sandwich? Uh, I think it's worse than chips. Uh, worse than fries? I don't, I don't think either. I'm not a huge fan of either. Um... I, I actually think fries are better because of the lack of crunch. Because I think it kind of, the crunch kind of like, it, um, that's the word I'm looking for here. It, I feel like it overtakes the entire sandwich. Why 
Why don't skeletons ever go trick or treating because they have nobody to go with? They could that could that could be anything. Like why don't skeletons ever go grocery shopping because they have nobody to go with? Hey, why don't skeletons ever go get pizza with their friends? Well, they have nobody to go with. So I guess that's why they don't go with their friends. Well, that's really sad. How about dipping chips in ketchup? That's a big that's a no that's a yikes for me, dog. No, we're out. Look at me. I am the Captain Crunch now. <laughs> Look at me. Oh lord. Look at me. I am the Captain Crunch now. We have a good time. What about dipping Captain Crunch in ketchup? All right, you're banned. Chips and fries are the same thing. Not, no, no, not Kurt. No, just no. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Well, because he had nobody to go with. Everybody knows that. Fritos on a pizza sub is absolute gas. Nothing about that sentence is correct. Except for the gas, which is probably just farts. Yeah, no, the ramen and cheese definitely put you on the watch list. But the uh, the ketchup... Cap, dipping Captain Crunch in ketchup, really, just... That was really... That put you over the line. We threw some tea into some water so we don't have to call them chips anymore. And they're still throwing tea into the water till this to this day. Apple pie and cheese is really contentious for me. I actually... I've seen it more times than I'm comfortable with, and also it's just, I don't, I still don't understand it to this day. Denny's Pancakes and Ranch? No, GTFO, man. This is just terrible. Dipping pizza in mayo? God. Why are you all weirdos? Four minutes to wait for this round? This is ridiculous. This has been four minutes. Don't dip your pizza in anything. Reasonable human beings don't dip pizza in ranch. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we're probably just going to play Fnoop again. All of our losses have been 0-2. Like, I don't know if this is... Uh, this deck is not really... It's just not doing anything. There's nothing broken about it. Can I dip my Reese's cup in strawberry ice cream? Oh yeah, for sure. Those are just two those are just two flavors that I mean like strawberry and peanut butter are not necessarily going to go together, but it's like they're both flavors from like the creamy area of the food spectrum, you know what I mean? It's like can I mix my mango and my my pineapple together? Yeah, go for it. Knock yourself out. Those both are those are both tangy sweet fruits that can go together. I mean man maybe mango's not super tangy, but you get the, you get the point. They have to hang out on the same part of the spectrum. What about PB and J? Strawberry J with PB. I actually don't use strawberry or grape, which are I think the two most popular varieties of jelly. I don't even use jelly. Usually I use either jam, which is thicker than jelly, or preservatives, which usually have fruit pieces in them. And my go-to is uh, cherry preserves because they're delicious. Um, I just recently picked up some seedless black blackberry preserves. And uh, I was really thrilled about it because most blackberry anything has seeds in it and it makes it pretty miserable to eat. I think raspberries and blackberries are significantly worse to eat because of their seed seededness. Um, because you can't take a bite without getting 17 seeds stuck in your teeth. And I'm just like, this is more work than I'm willing to go for. I'm too fancy for jelly. <laughs> well, I didn't want to brag about it, but you know, it's true. It's true. Oh, peanut butter and honey is alright. Peanut butter and banana is good. Peanut butter and fluff. Marshmallow fluff is, is fine. I accidentally swallowed some Scrabble tiles. My next poop could spell disaster. You'd have to spell a lot. Eat, swallow a lot. Pepper jelly? Um, I'm not a big fan of pepper jelly or mint jellies. Like, I don't like jellies that are, that are savory based in nature. I don't know. Every time you guys laugh at Badger, it just encourages him, just so you guys know. I just want to make that clear. It's fine to do it. 
but you're really just encouraging this behavior. Seven minutes in this queue, guys. Seven minute queue. I think there's only two players playing vintage. I think they're all playing against each other right now. Oh, Fnoop, here we go. Here we go with Fnoop again. I'm in. Oh, we're playing Svaka, 2-1. I'll play first. Good lord. I'll keep it because we got this preordain. But man. I don't love it. Bottom both of these. Holy bagolies. Oh, that was a good top deck. I'm not going to do anything with it, but it was nice to have. Oh, Ancestral into Double Mox into Underground. Thank you. Like you do. Like you do. Well, oh, God, we're so good at this game. Linner, welcome back. 18 months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to kill this idiot. My friend told me I didn't know the meaning of ironic, which is ironic because we were at a train station. Tell me I didn't know the meaning of ironic, which is ironic. That's not, I see. <laughs> I get that now. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, Lotus 2. Lotus 2 Mox is an ancestral. That's a hell of an opener. That's very good. It's very good. Pretty, 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 and a Snapcaster, pretty, so two ancestrals. Pretty good. Two Ancestrals is nice. Some guys have all the luck. Cool. We're doing well. I used to love vintage. But this 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 uh this particular league is making me hate everything. Oh, and a treasure cruise. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're doing good. We're having a good time. We're everybody's having a good time. Double ancestral, time walk, treasure cruise, black lotus, mox, mox. Seems good. Seems good. What can I do this turn? Oh, looks like nothing very well. Uh, we can play Wasteland, play a Lotus. Assume they have a Force of Will somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess actually, do we play land this turn? We play the wasteland, right? So brainstorming is actually, yeah, we can brainstorm. It just gets it into the graveyard. I 
accidental misstep. Sure. <laughs> nah, force. Fantastic. <laughs> Just wonderful. Delta. Now I both have two lands. You have four cards, but whatever. Sure. God, I love Wasteland. I think Wasteland should just be not legal in any format just because it's a miserable card to play against. But, I mean, I appreciate the, the strategy that it allows for, you know? Whatever that means. Oh, all right, let's do that. Well, I have another Force of Will. You didn't have a Force of Will, and now we get to just play a Leovold? Holy smokes. Lightning Bolt. We're going to regret not getting rid of the Volcanic Island? Maybe not? They're going to Fatal Push? No. Okay, Leovold sticks. That's pretty good. Yes. Huh. <laughs> ironic. That's ironic, right? Hey, would you look at that? We get to draw another... Can't cast non-creature spells. I mean, I'm just going to play this. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know how magic works. It doesn't do anything. I guess we can't. Yeah, alright. I was like, I'm like, let me read this card. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, can I just spend mana on it anyway? Can I spend one on it, just for the fun of it? I don't know how moxes work, apparently. I accept that. Not to put too fine a point on it. Oh, I want both of these, though. What do I do then? Put a little birdhouse in your soul. Um, let's put this on top, and we'll put this in our hand. No. Put you on top. Why Why aren't I putting anything on top? Nothing's going on top. Yeah, we wanted to hide the Tarmogoyf so they can't, like, thought seize us, but... Uh, they can't draw this because of Leovold, so I guess we're I guess we're we're up on the old on the old Leovold value here. They we we fell a mox into Lavinia. They put a preordain into Leovold, so I added a green. Don't be like this. Just play my Tarmogoyf. I definitely don't want to trade both of these for Leovold. I think Leovold is significantly stronger than either one of these. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get probably Bayou so that we're just even on the colors. Well, I don't hate that. They have two cards, we have two cards. I actually feel like this game is evened out, despite the fact that they went Ancestral, Ancestral, Treasure Cruise, Time Walk. Does Lavinia shut that off too? I imagine she does. They go double block here. Or they go block block with these two. And then they only lose one. Yeah, that seems worse.
Anything planned after this? I have nothing planned, but I will still be streaming, so. I'm worried about my grandma. I'm worried that she forgot about Dre. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. So, if no mana was spent to cast it, oh god, Force of Will is brutal. That could just kill you. But now you have enough to block the Tarmogoyf effectively. I mean, it's going to be like a 10 for 1, but... Okay, I'm game. Oh my god, are you going to counter this? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it. So storm count would be two when I cast this, right? So they can't pay three for it, right? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, I'm not casting the, the, the copies that are just going on the stack. I mean, in this, in this situation, like, they don't have mana floating. They do have a Deathrite Shaman, though. So, I guess that's fine. Maybe they don't see it. They'll see it. I didn't see it. Yep, they saw it. Dang it. Biscuits. Exile, each opponent loses two life. That's unfortunate wording because I'm going to have to draw a card from Leovold, but so be it. They're at four. So now this guy being tapped, they actually have to, they could go block with Dark Confidant Snapcaster, and, but they have to actually block Tarmogoyf too. So they would lose all of their creatures if they blocked both. Do you know a good way in which I can avoid spending a bunch of money if you want to play if you want to play vintage on Magic Online? You can use manatraders.com and you get 20% off along with uh, off not along with, but you're off of your first 3 month subscription if you use the link and the promo code in my description below. I'm tempted to attack with both. They have to block both creatures. They have to block at least Tarmogoyf. They could let Leovold go through, but then they can deal one, two, three, four, five, six, shoot us for two. But right now, they're probably just going to jump block this guy. Yeah, we're just going to attack with Tarmogoyf here. I have to block. They're just going to throw a Snapcaster in front of this guy, but... I mean, if you want to trade Tarmogoyf for all three of these guys, I would be more than more than okay with that. Yep, that is what we assumed would happen, and now you are a sizable 6-7. Dang it. Dang it! Well, that still puts you to three, which means both are lethal, I guess. Yeah, next week is cube, next Wednesday. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. What a little birdhouse in your... Multiple death rate chummies, eh? Okay. I hope they try to draw more cards. That's all I really want. That's a good one. They just have to keep chump blocking, right? Like, the answer is yes. How many creatures are in graveyards? Just one, right? Just the Snapcaster? 
Get your draft steps here. Yeah, get your draft steps ready. That sounds pretty good. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We get to turn Thank on... You. Oh, that's fascinating. Dead Sight. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Put a little birdhouse in your birdhouse. So we're going to go to eight, and then we're going to go to four, presumably. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, Dark Confidant has failed you. Oh, fantastic, dude. Oh, little Wreckeroo. Got him. Take out the Null Rod. Uh, what else do they have? Nothing really that oppressive. They just drew a million cards and got stuck with like a bunch of dirtily creatures. That seems fine. I'm gonna keep this like God, our hands our opening hands always feel so unexciting they feel like they're just cube hands why are you singing TMB I have no idea what that means what up Beaston I see the commander video. I'm curious if I wanted to submit a commander deck. What, what would it take? Yeah, send uh, send me an email. Shoot me an email at frank at franklaport.com. I will take a gander at your commander. It's just basically, it's the same as like other deck critiques. I'm hungry and I'm regretting starting this stream so late. You guys hear that motorcycle out there? Say I'm the only. We still got one more match left. Man, I might have to edit this video just because it's a lot of dead air. But I don't think people are going to care. They could just fast forward it. It's really not that big of a deal. Do you know what I'm going to do to this guy? I'm just going to straight up murder this Dark Confidant like, like nobody's business. Are you guys ready? Put it in the garbage can. Would you check out my mono blank lands deck? I think it's swamped. Wow. Wow, that's some that's some magic dad MTG jokes right there. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Oh, I see. You just want to play another Dark Confidant. Whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. You're gonna counter this? But you know I have this. Can we just can we can we just counter each other's mental missteps? And then my guy resolves because he's very, very good at magic the gathering? Sure. Of course it will one time. Mental misstep. That's fine. You still take one. And it's a blank right now. That's perfect. It's like you didn't even draw anything. It's like you drew nothing. Fine. I would like to draw my own Force of Will. Why doesn't Death Ray Shaman have haste? That seems good, right? Just put a haste on it. Say I'm the only haste in your bonnet. That doesn't even make any sense. Let's get a big old trop. Oh, 
Oh. I like that. Although I don't like that they have mental misstep. Well, that's awkward. Well, this could actually be great. Um, cancel, exile, your wasty boy. Add a bluesel, fluster stoozel. Yeah, sure. You got it. You got it. I don't know what this does. Yeah, just give haste just give him haste, vigilance, and flying. I just feel like they really I really I feel like they really kinda neutered this card. It's kinda sad. Uh same target. Yeah, same target. All these targets are fine. It went to the trash can. Oh, they got a tundra. Oh, they still have mental misstep, I guess they didn't use that, so I don't know why I got rid of it. Mystical Tutor. During the upkeep, get for Ancestral. Woo! All right, well, that's gone. All right, well, that's gone. All right, well, this guy's gone. Time walk, huh? Okay, well, all the things are happening, but there's nothing... I guess we're going to keep this open. Worst of all? Your own Deathrite Chapman. So now you have Deathrite... Missed up. Okay. Uh, no blocks. And the fact that you're attacking makes me think you're kind of scared of Thief of Sanity, but what do I know? I think Flusterstorm is actually totally fine to be in Modern Horizons, especially because Storm is a legit archetype. Demonic Tutor into Red Elemental Blast again. Well, we had a good run. Yeah. Pyroblast, sure. Exile land card. Choose a color. It doesn't matter. Let's demo, as Rob would say. Um, I probably just want the other. Like Leo actually seems busted, doesn't he? Sure. I like Leovold a little bit better here, just because if they do have another removal spell, we do get to. Uh, draw card they also all their card drawing gets countered by it man they never run out of dark confidants that's our third dark confidant hmm we could snapcast or abrupt decay but then they could exile the abrupt decay no they can't no they can't i think it's probably more important to get rid of the oh they can exile the land we use to cast it can't they yeah, that's what that's what we were afraid of. I guess we're just gonna leave old here. That is sad. Wow, source of plot. What is this deck? <laughs> this is like four color deck. Uh, with five color deck, it's literally all the colors. All right, well. They still have mental misstep in hand, so if they want a mental misstep here, that's fine. 
Yeah. All right. You got it. I agree. I'm also a little sad when they take the invitation winner. I feel like that's one thing you should just keep. Like all feature printing should have the invitation winner's art because it's their card. It's always their card. If you want to change their art, like to uh, a different picture of like, you know, uh, Bob Maher here, like that's fine. But I think you should still keep Bob Maher in the art because it's part of Magic's legacy. It's where that card came from. You know what I mean? Seems good. I mean, they could just kill us. They're dealing four, four damage a turn. Well, now they're definitely dealing four damage a turn. It's awkward. Yep. Land. That is not a land, but we can probably get a land. It occurs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can leave the mental misstep in case they try to counter this. Oh wow, that was that was pretty cool. And we get to kill one, and then we get to go to five. Time for a squishly, squi a freshly squeezed slice of pizza straight from the vine. Is that what time it is? Sure, that doesn't seem relevant. That seems good. Guys, I think we're doing it. Uh, I'd rather have the second black. So we can go Tarmogoyf, Lotus, keep up Mental Misstep, and Snapcaster. All right, well, that was a lot of things to do. We just drew like six cards that turn. We do die to Deathrite Shaman in like 3,000 turns, but. You know, saying you put the lime in the coconut? Well, I made the lime jello last week with coconut water, so I did the opposite. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you're a real maniac. So wasteland and strip mine, huh? Okay. Let's get rid of this guy. I don't think we can. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually snapcast our treasure cruise. Probably should have attacked first, right? No, I guess it doesn't matter. Eh, it might. Oh, we can actually just wait, huh? Yeah, that's fine. That's I forgot about that. <laughs> that was my bad. I mean, did you just take seven here? If 
Force of Will again. Oh my god, Treasure Cruise! Yes! <laughs> oh man, Dark Confidant killing them two times. Two times Dark Confidant killed you at any cost. Wow, Force of Will and Treasure Cruise. Fantastic. That's brutal. Man, that was that was amazing. Well, we're we're two two right now. I don't think I don't think that's terrible. This, I think this uh this league would have taken significantly less less time if the uh, the time between these matches was shorter. Thank you. Backlight, welcome back. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. 17 months in a row. Good amount of time. Good amount of time. I feel like that only uh, only slightly dwarfs the amount of time we're going to be waiting in this queue for the fifth round, but... Shut up and take my money. One revel in the misfortune of others book. <laughs> hey, that's how wins work. To Sarah Official, I don't get to watch your stream much, but I've been a fan of you for years and years on YouTube, and I'm usually too busy with school. Good to be able to show some support for you in the small way, and also to catch your stream. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Three months in a row. Welcome back. Welcome back. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I like that you guys like, all right, the, the round is over, so we can we can show all the appreciation. Two minutes. Two minutes is not seven minutes, so that's good. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger in her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Is it noticeably better for you if I don't skip the ads after five seconds on YouTube? I don't have ad block. I have no idea. I really don't know. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Do you hear a little man? He's being real loud. He he just wants some food. He he, he just wants some food. Her finger and her thumb. I always thought it was her finger in her. Okay, well, all right. Hey, Mike, what's the sound a little man makes? Mow. <laughs> all right. Come on, Vintage, one more round. I might actually... It's so hard to cut these, though. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hopefully, if you're watching on YouTube, I just, I'm going to upload this normally. I hope you guys just skip the, the downtime if you want. It's so hard, though, because there's no set beginning or ending to the matches. Like, that match ended, and we were still kind of talking about it in between. And so there's, like, a lot of content in between the rounds, too, that we that we, that we we have here. So, I don't know. It's just there's no, like... Like when I'm doing videos, like when I used to, when I would do videos for an article, I would stop the recording when the round was over and be like, all right, I'll see you guys next round. And then I would start the recording again uh, when the round began again. So like you're getting the entirety of. I bought the domain chonk.cat. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, don't be giving me chonk.cat. I don't know what I'd even do with chonk.cat, but he is a chonker.
We're playing against Janice Janice Stone. I'll keep this hand, although it's it's slow. We have lots of things to do, or lots of things we hope they won't they they do. Maybe low man. <laughs> That's not a real email address. I don't think you could put your your cat in a little tattoo because he's just too fat. He's just too much of a chunk. Oh God, no. Why didn't you just pay a blue for it? I don't know. I was worried. I got scared. I got scared of the Mr. Grimora. Yeah, I will get any emails you send to Hunter at hunter at franklapore.com. So if you guys send me emails, or send Sun Hunter emails, rather, he will get those emails. I'll make sure he reads them. Merchant scrawl. Yeah, you got it. I would just sooner counter whatever you get. And he's like, joke's on you. I got a force of will. And I'm like, oh no, you did get a force of will. The joke is on me. Someone tell me what this mono blue deck is trying to do to me. No, well, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> Read the emails live on stream. Oh my god. So, like, if we counter this, they draw... If we, if, if we let this happen, they net two cards. If we force of will it, we lose two cards. What's... I mean, they're going to go to 9,000 cards. That's fine. I'm not going to force of will that. Yeah, that's worse. If I'm not countering Ancestral, I'm for sure not countering Brainstorm. All the things are happening. That's fine. You can't even activate that. Oh, now you can. I'm kind of tempted to counter this. This is an obnoxious card. Plus, you're actually out of mana at that point. Oh, you're not out of mana? Real mature. Well, I have another land that I just didn't even show you. Okay, that's this is all fine. Don't countertop? I don't know. I didn't want their box opal to turn online. Oh, you're saying are you saying I should have and you're just sad that I that I did? I can't tell what's going on right now. Oh, that's fascinating. I actually like killing this and playing Oh, this actually seems good. We can just wait a turn to play Jace. That seems pretty okay. Now they have two lands, two mana, two manners. <laughs> <laughs> countering, letting Ancestral resolve. You know what? You want to play an Ancestral? I know that feeling. You go ahead and resolve that. Top, however, that's going to make us both miserable. Don't do that. Back to the rules and I hit the ground running. Oh, they're playing some Paradoxical Outcome. But the media man begs to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. Let's let's brainstorm here, see what happens. Um, 
Well, put you're going back for sure, and you can go on top of that. Yeah, that's fine. My toilet paper after too much Indian food. Oh God, here we go. Oh, that's disgusting. that's disgusting. It's not as bad as I expected to be, but oh God, is that what is that acid? What is that acid? So they just have one, two, three, they have four mana, but they just have two two useless artifacts. Nullrod seems good in this matchup. Sulfuric Vortex. Wow, that's crazy. What a time to be alive. Are we gonna do something during my turn? What's that? I'm going to snapcast that. All right. Sure. What does this do? Why do it on my turn? I'm confused. I mean, I get that you want me to, if I counter it, you want me to be able to counter it, like use my mana on my turn, I guess. But like, if you draw a thing you can play, like a land or another artifact to increase Talarian Academy, like I don't understand why you would. I don't understand anything, I guess. Um, we can put this back and... <sighs> We're going to preordain and put two cards in the bottom. I'm going to put this Jace back. It might be Treasure Cruise. I like Thief here. Um, Jace goes on the bottom. Treasure Cruise. Probably also on the bottom. I don't feel like we're in Delve territory. Oh, that's 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 really nice. Peace out, y'all. Uh, let's go black. And this guy. It's your boy. Oh, because they want to discard. I figured it out. They don't want to discard, so that's why they do it during our turn. Makes total sense now. I get it. I get it now. That's that doesn't do anything. Uh, no blocks. Would you repeal one mox just so you could... Oh, you're going to storm here? You're going to storm us out? No, you're not going to do anything. All right. All good. All good. Let's see what we hit first. That seems good. Monastery Mentor. Whoa. Let's take a Monastery Mentor. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is very good. Um, let's go Monastery Mentor. We'll gush, make a guy, float some mana, play a Tarmogoyf after that. That seems good. So we're going to go Tarmogoyf, Polluted Delta. Actually, I think Leovold might just be better here. I don't feel like if they're going to try to paradoxical outcome at some point, which I don't even feel like they can. Yeah, we'll mentor here. One, two, three. Let's gush. Uh, Tropical Island, Tarmogoyf. Oh, they just didn't do anything. Man, Null Rod, dude. 
OP. Oof. We're also bringing an energy flux against this monstrosity of a deck. I will easily cast this just to trigger my mentors. Tr trigger me mentors. Uh, let's do this jobby. Okay, strip mine. We can just take care of an island. Yeah, that's good. Yep, it's just getting worse for you. And that's the end. Okay, they're like, one land? No, that's going to be too much. All right. Those creatures don't have Mentor on there. It's Prowess. Oh, you're right. You're right. Um, <laughs> Null Rod. MVP. Energy Flux. Energy Flux. So you have to cut three cards. Is Abrupt Decay? Yeah, Abrupt Decay is probably fine. I don't want to waste Abrupt Decay on their, like, their moxes, though. Um, so we can probably take one out. Mental Misstep is it's fine to cut. And we can probably cut the Gush. Or one of these two, maybe. Yeah, we'll just cut the Gush. I mean, it's sad because, like, you have the the Moxes and the Lotus in your own deck, but there's no way you're going to actually ever cut them. Yeah, this hand is terrible. This hand is better. Third Mental Misstep? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Well, I have two, so... All right, <laughs> not gonna shuffle. Uh, do we want the treasure cruise? Probably, actually. We're gonna have two cards in the graveyard. Null rod comes down. Wasteland's gonna be another card. Mental missteps another card. Yeah, we can actually put this and this and this. No, we good. We could just count on Null Rod, but no, nah, I'm good. Oh, they missed a land drop. Yeah, now we're just doing this. Got any new favorite music you've been listening to lately? Not recently. Shoegaze is great. Where did you learn about shoe gaze? Or were they just like sandbag? What are you doing? Is there a cat back here? What's even happening? Were they just sandbagging lands? That's fascinating. What did they bounce? Mox Opal. Oh, they just repealed the Mox Opal. They just went Flood Strand. Mox Opal, repeal Mox Opal. Yeah, that seems fine. I just want to get this clock on the board. In the Discord, which you would know if you were ever there. Wow, I'm like your I'm like a negligent parent. She gave this great. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well. Yeah, seem a good. So one, two, three, four, five. This will be six. So we could treasure cruise here. Which probably seems better than two, three, four, five, six. Um, we can keep one thing in there actually. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Probably mental misstep just because it makes uh, snapcasters better. Wow, another another force of will. Well, you have two cards. One of them is a mox opal, so that's pretty okay with me. Sure.
That was a very good brainstorm. Oh, wow. What do, what do you do when you want to keep all the things? Um, we're definitely keeping the Jace and the Demonic Tutor. I guess we could just keep all the things, right? We could just play Null Rod here. I guess Energy Flux and Null Rod don't really need to be uh, out together. So we can put Null... We can, actually, we don't think we need either of them right now. But we might need them eventually. So we're going to put both of these back. We'll play the Misty. Do we want that? I don't think we want that, actually. We can just get something new here. Yeah, we can just get whatever. Um, it's probably going to be... They, they actually ex exiled two paradoxical outcomes. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yeah, I feel like this game's over. Yeah, that's fine. We can go Jace and kill your top. That's also really good because now we can force a will with Jace. Yikes. Oh, all right, we just won the game. All right, 3-2 with our uh, Saltai deck that I was, I was actually complaining about. I didn't think it was that great, but uh, did I get a... Oh, I got a treasure chest? Let's open this treasure chest. 3-2, not too bad. I'm not a vintage expert by any means. But, uh, oh, a Bane Slayer and 25 play points? I'll take it. I'll take it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, definitely check out ManaTraders.com. You'll get 20% off your first three months if you use the promo code and the uh, link in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com where you can find my articles. And um, if you use Frank5, you'll get 5% off all of your purchases. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out later.